Hi everyone, Mar Haddad here. In uh, this uh, video, I would like to show you how we can uh, protect uh, our network using the DNS of uh, OpenDNS uh, on the MicTech router. Now, before I start explaining what is this exactly, I would like please to ask you if you can just subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot to be able to keep doing videos that I'm doing now. So please, only you need to do just to click on subscribe and then, uh, yeah, and, that's, and then you can continue watching this video. So if you want to speak now about OpenDNS, so uh, this company is uh, uh, owned by Cisco and what they do, they do have uh, some DNS which protects you from uh, uh, malicious uh, websites. And uh, of course, if you are having a kitchen at home or, or uh, maybe in your company, you don't want your employees to go to some uh, websites that they should not go to, to them, then what you can do, you can apply those DNS on the Microtech router. Now, applying the DNS on the MicroTik router, that means that once the uh, user re requests for uh, an IP address uh, from the DHCP server, then this DNS can be given. But by doing that, maybe the uh, user, if he's smart enough, he can change his DNS on his computer and put a public DNS, for example. Then he can still go to whatever website he would like to do. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how you can also on the MicroTik router to redirect all the DNS queries so once they come to the MicroTik router, even though they are public, then it will still take them to the DNS of OpenDNS. So I have already configured everything. Let me just show you because this is my router at home that I'm going to show you now. So let me just show you what I did and uh, show you step by step what I did. So you can do the same if you want. So let's go directly and see what is the configuration. So before we start doing the configuration, let me just uh, show you about uh, OpenDNS. So let's go to the browser. And let's uh, go to Google and search for uh, Open DNS. So this company, Open DNS, is uh, owned by Cisco. And you can see here, Open DNS is now part of Cisco. So what they do, they have some uh, DNS that you can use for uh, protecting your network. And uh, for example, here they say it's a little faster and more reliable home internet help uh, make the web a safer place, easy to set up. So all those information, look how much they have already blocked uh, already. So the DNS security service has delivered 100% uptime since 2006. So this is a very nice uh, DNS that you can use. So you can see how much they can they are doing blocking at this moment. So if you look down over here, you see those are the DNS that uh, are uh, um, provided. So those are the ones 208, 65.222.222 and the same but uh, 220.220. So those are the DNS that if you uh, use them and your network, then you are protecting your uh, users uh, from going to some malicious websites. So what you can do over here is that, uh, or what I did already, I'll just to show you here. So uh, this is my MicroTik at home. Actually, it is in uh, CRS. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a router switch uh, microtik device. So what I did is I just configured the DHCP. If I show you here, if I go to IP DHCP server. So I just configured this DHCP server on a bridge interface where I put all my interfaces. And then I said that the range is going to be provided from 10.0.0.0. And this is the gateway. And of course, those are the uh, open DNS actually. So those are the IPs of the open uh, DNS that uh, I used. So now anyone connected to my uh, MicroTik router, then uh, he get uh, the uh, IP, the gateway, and uh, the subnet mask, and those uh, DNS, then they are protected. But as I said, if someone is smart enough, he can just change the DNS on his computer, then he doesn't use those DNS, he uses his own DNS. So what I did also, uh, I just made here on IP firewall, I go to the NAT here, and I created here the DNS forward to open DNS. You see, that's what I did. So what is this exactly? So uh, what I did over here is just uh, I made that uh, destination NAT, that's what to, to redirect the traffic. Anything going to DNS, DNS used on a TCP port and UDP port. So I did for TCP and UDP, this is the DNS port. Anything going to DNS, then the action is to redirect it or the destination NAT to the this DNS, which is the DNS of OpenDNS. Same I did on the UDP. If you look here, anything going to DNS, then redirect it to this DNS. So even now, if the user change 
the uh, IP of the uh, DNS on his computer, then he will be also uh, redirected to the open DNS. Then in this case, we are sure that there will not be any issue uh, at all for someone using DNS that uh, is uh, not the open uh, DNS. Now, um, if, uh, for example, you, you have kids at home and you want to apply the, this configuration, that's fine. But say that you don't want to be uh, on open DNS as parents, like uh, you and your wife, for example. You just want to use public DNS. So uh, what you can do is just simply, uh, you go to the IP DHCP server, and uh, on the lease, you see which IP is for you and, uh, for example, your laptop, your phone, your tablet, and also for your wife as well. And what you can do, you can just uh, make them static. So uh, that's uh, if they normally show like D, so that is uh, dynamic, you just right click and then you make it static. So then once you make it static, what you can do, you can go to the DHCP server on the network. And you can say, you create an entry and you say, for example, this is an entry, this static IP, which I made it just static now for, for example, my phone, then the 0, the 0, the 2, then this is uh, its gateway, and uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, subnet mask, and those are the DNS. So I'll just put the open DNS. So I'll just put the uh, public DNS. And then your router will provide for your phone or your laptop or whatever this one is for the IP for it, this public DNS. But the problem is because of the, um, if you look here on the firewall, because of uh, these two rules, then even if your router is giving you the public DNS, which are 8888 and 1111, it will also redirect you to the open DNS because these rules, these two rules, they will redirect you to the open DNS. So yeah, then you have to do some more thing. What I did here, if I can show you, if we go back to the, um, um, if we go here, uh, I can show you that I made a, um, a list here, I called it whitelist. So what is this whitelist? Look what I said. I said that uh, um, make destination NAT, so any traffic which is DNS, which is uh, uh, not in the whitelist, then let it go to the open DNS, which is not in the uh, whitelist. And what is whitelist? If we go to the address list and then we look for the whitelist, the whitelist are the IPs of the devices that should not uh, be redirected to the open DNS. So I just make this list over here. And then in this case, um, those will not be redirected to open DNS. The only one which will be redirected, which are not in this list. So that is the best way to do it. So that is all what I wanted to show you, just uh, something I have applied it on at home. Uh, and I said, well, it's a good idea that I made a video. I make a video and show you how I made my configuration. You can apply the same uh, for uh, your home or for your office or whatever. You can just use the open DNS. And if you want uh, some IPs that are not part of the open DNS or let's say to be redirected on open DNS, you just put them on, inside an address list. And then on the destination net, we can say that uh, the IP which are inside the whitelist do not be redirected to the open DNS. Now, if you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to make like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos when they are uploaded to my YouTube channel. I thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video and see you in the upcoming video.